Cade Cunningham had almost a triple-double with 25 points, 12 rebounds, and 9 assists. Ryan Dunn was unable to keep up with him, and that's kind of a bad game for him offensively. But Cade Cunningham did have a couple games, which is great for the young guy. He definitely needed it, and now he's on the radar. That one and play tonight that caught everybody's eyes, it was Royce O'Neal heading to the floor, and he was rolling on the floor with Ron Holland trying to grab the ball, would not let go, and did end up winning. Take a look at this clip. It's actually astonishing, and the effort was there in this, this preseason game. I, I get, look, 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 over and under. I, don't, I hope it doesn't happen. I, I do. Holland's not giving it up. He's going to get into it. He's going to get into it. You love that as the veteran O'Neal. <laughs> That's funny. That's hilarious. I mean, Holland, uh, Holland's All right, John Moida now back at the studio has a few comments and a few takeaways from the game. Let's go to Here's some things that I noticed in the game that are of importance. One. Ryan Dunn, Osa Igadoro. That's the story. It's going to continue to be the story throughout the preseason because the rookies are what matter right now. They're going to have an opportunity to get minutes, and that's what they're doing, and they're doing things with them, some good, some bad. There was some regression relative to the first two games. It was rookies being rookies tonight. Ryan Dunn couldn't hit the three ball. Oh, no, it's over. But he still looked good with the steal, still looked good with those blocks on Tobias Harris at the rim. Looked great. Osa Godoro, I'd like to see him attempt to score a little bit more. He's a little too passive right now. Has opportunities at the rim, but don't pass out of them. And sometimes it generates turnovers. But he needs to just be a little bit more aggressive. Be a little bit more like Ryan Dunn, who's taking those shots. Second thing, Bradley Beal. He's out there. He's trying to get his mojo back, if you will. Taking shots, being aggressive, being a ball hog, maybe. But that's okay. That's what the preseason's for. Gain your confidence back, Brad. We need it. You need it. It's going to be good for the team. If there is one thing that I do find somewhat concerning about the Phoenix Suns throughout the entire preseason, it's the rebounding. They're going to have a challenge with this all season long. Now, granted, we've had no use of Nurkic with the first team, so we truly don't understand the rebounding identity of this team as of yet. But we do lack some of that size. And if you were to ask me what my number one concern with this team is, it's probably their defensive depth. We don't know yet how great they are defensively from a depth pers perspective. Now that's where Ryan Dunn could come in and, and be effective. And we'll see. And that's the three things that I have to talk about. <laughs>